Put it back, guys. Mersman says, M U R S E M O N T E Z. Now I realize I've never showed you guys what I got going on. So I got my ring light here. I got my camera here, which I'm getting set up right now. Just got that started, so I'm gonna give you two viewpoints. I got my laptop here, I got my coffee here. And uh, really, I'm just looking for new jobs because I'm got five. <laughs> <laughs> so let me give you the spill of what went down. So if you've seen the previous video, you know I was in Destin, Florida, right? And you know I was there for probably about, I was there for four days. And you saw what I did with the slingshot. That's all good and fine. It's all fun. So, you know. Now that I'm on vacation, you know, I'm not really concerned about work at the moment. So I'm just having a good time. Now, if you didn't know, you should know by now, if you kept up with my videos, I've got a lot of different videos talking about how, you know, I have multiple different agencies and I work with them. And that's like kind of what I do. That's, you know, that's what I like to do. I like to have multiple agencies so that I can kind of create my own schedule, vacate when I want to, this, that, and the third. And so there's this one particular agency and we can say prior to, uh, or, you, or you could just say when COVID was really, really bad, which is, I mean, it still is bad, but the first wave, okay, we're not talking about the second wave that's probably still coming. The first wave, uh, this particular agency, you know, they staff nursing homes. And so at the time you were required to get a COVID test every two weeks in order for you to keep working there because you didn't want to, you know, you don't want to affect the the patients that, that live there or the residents that live there or the coworkers. And a lot of people that work there were getting infected with COVID and having symptoms and spreading it all over the place. So it's every two weeks. All right, that's cool. No problem. Fast forward, new management. Now it's every week. Now my time frame from the time I first got my COVID test to the time from when it was, you know, time for me to get another one in terms of working for this agency had ran out, you know, so I'm in Florida, not really concerned about it until I get back. So when I get back, you know, I'm trying to do assignments and then we get the email through uh, this app that all the uh, staffers use. And the email basically said, if you are, or if you don't have a COVID test within the past five days, uh, you can't work here anymore. You're going to be inactive. So you can't pick up shifts. You can't operate within the system. If you already got days scheduled, you can still work those, but you can't pick up any more until you get a new COVID test. And I didn't have one yet, so I was made inactive. So when I went to go try to pick up one, I couldn't. So, you know, me, I like to call facilities that I work for because I have a lot of times the places I work for, I have good personal relationships with the people that create the schedule with the DONs and the nurses and management. Like everywhere I go, I, I form those personal relationships so that I can, you know, continue to get work, continue to get shifts. And it, it's, it's worked out for me thus far. So I went to them, I called them. I was like, yo, I'm trying to work. What you got open? Like, we really need you. We really need your help. I said, all right, so block book me for such and such. And so they do that. And the problem was before I did, you know, before um, I didn't know that I was not active in the system. I knew what the email said, but I didn't know that it would be that quick. So when I went in there to try to accept the shift that I was block book for, it wouldn't let me do it. And so I had to tell I had to tell the facility that you know what, I actually might not be able to do anything right now because of the fact that I'm I'm not active. I can't I can't get into the system. I can't do anything. So I told them why and the, and the reason why was that I needed to get my COVID test ASAP. And they, and they was going to do a rapid for me at the time, but the only problem was that was a weekend and normally it's kind of hard to get in touch with the agency over the weekend. So I was like, you know what, we're going to have to cancel the shift because I, I can't, even if I do go there and I do work for you and I do get the rapid COVID test, if they're not answering their phone, when I get it to send it in, they might not even pay me because it's like, they don't know for sure I was there because I can't clock in on the app to say that I'm in the facility. And I don't know if that has counseled me out of the facility itself with my clock in number. So I was like, you know what? You might have to take me off because even if I come in there and I work for you and I do my COVID test 
it's gonna come out, come out bad for me because I'm not getting paid. Granted, you got the help that you needed, so it's it's no it's no thing for you. But I'm not getting paid because I'm an actor. Because technically, in a way, it's a fire. It's a fire, right? So I can't work. So I decided to wait past the weekend to get it done throughout the week. And I was I was texting them, messaging them, telling them, hey, look, I got my rap rapid because the facility was nice enough to go ahead and give me a rapid test anyway, despite me not working for them that day. And we got it all, and we got it so. So I sent it to him. I messaged him, emailed him, everything that I could. And finally, they responded and said that they, that I was good to go for the COVID part. However, even if I didn't get that COVID test, I was still going to be short on my TB because my TB actually expired today. TB skin test, for those who don't know, tuberculosis or tuberculin skin test is something that you have to get uh, on a yearly basis, if you didn't know that. That's what I, that's what I mean when I say TV skin test. So that that had expired today, and I just got it read today. I'm good to go on that. And also, I just went ahead and became fully um, compliant with all of my immunizations. So Thursday, I did my rapid COVID test. I did my TV skin test. I got my TV skin test read today. No information, no adverse reactions to it. I'm good on that. And I got my flu shot as well on Thursday. Surprisingly, I hadn't really had any symptoms from that yet. Hopefully, I don't have any, period, because as of right now, I am uh, negative in terms of the COVID test. But I've heard that, you know, with this season that we're in, you know, it's getting very cold. Uh, your immune system may not be as strong. You've got the flu coming in. You've got the cold coming in, like in terms of the runny nose, that cold. And you've got COVID that's still here. So you have all these things that could possibly break down your immune system. So, you know, I went ahead and got my flu shot because I'm trying, I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing preventative things, things that will prevent uh, diseases of any type. So, you know, I'm taking my vitamins, I'm taking the emergencies, I'm taking proteins, you know what I'm saying? I'm exercising, trying to build up my immune system because this is definitely the time where you want to do those things so that you don't have to worry about... Um, the immune system breaking down and possibly getting sick and possibly ending up in the hospital. And that's what, and that's what we don't want. So I, so that's, I mean, that's pretty much it guys. I just wanted to share that with you. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that, that may have been why I haven't posted in like two weeks because I'm trying to get all this stuff done. I'm trying to make sure that I stay organized with the different agencies I work with. I'm still on a medical surgical contract at the hospital, which actually ends next week. And I'm, I'm, I'll, tell you about that what i got going on next in the next video like what my future plans are uh so you know between all that you know i'm still trying to make time to talk to you guys and make content for you guys so tell me what you think do you think a covid test every week is necessary or do you think that every two weeks is better i personally think that every two weeks is better however COVID symptoms can show up between 2 to 14 days. So, you know, every week is not bad. But I personally think every two weeks is a lot better. A lot easier on the nose because that stuff hurts. They stick it way up there to get samples and that stuff is, is not fun. All right. But, you know, in between the COVID test, every time that I go to work, which is almost every day, you know, we, we're checking. The temperature is being checked. My symptoms are being checked. You know, I'm... I'm literally being assessed every day. So I feel like I could probably scoot by with um, every 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 two weeks. But that's it, guys. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, share, interact, and in the comments, interact with me because, you know, I'm always responding to anybody that feels the need to talk to me through my YouTube comments. And don't forget to go over to my Instagram, grind216 and show some love. I'm trying to grow also on youtube i'm trying to grow on youtube but also on instagram i'm trying to you know be uh more medically inclined with my information so that's it guys any future videos you want me to do don't forget to let me know and i'll do them all right see you in the next video